So basically, as you can see, everybody who moves and everybody who doesn't move can make money for themselves on the platform. Who else is left? Nobody. <laughs> That's a whole world's population. Now you can understand. Most people look at us, we chain, oh, you're a delivery business, you're a storage business. We are not. We are a platform business. So many, many people will say, well, Ralph, I know what you're doing. Aren't you like a Uber? But I have to tell them, we cannot be more different than a Uber. To begin with, if you work for Uber, you need to own a car. But if you work for yourself on the decentralized platform, all you need is just a train ticket, a bus ticket, a flight ticket, or your bicycle, or your two legs. <laughs> Basically, we're turning the entire world's public transportation to become the money-making tools for yourself. So then other people will ask, Ralph, I know the tax station owner. Isn't that look like an Airbnb? And I'm going to tell them, we cannot be more different from Airbnb. <laughs> Why? If you work for Airbnb, you need to own a home. You need to own a house or apartment to rent it out. But if you, again, work for yourself on the uh, mule chain platform, all you need is just a rental space. Your rented apartment, your office, your gas station. Even you park your car in the parking lot, you can switch on your app and say, today I'm the pet station owner. <laughs> Somebody want to drop off something in the parking lot in your car, they can. So the whole world, think about it. Not only you monetize your living space, your whole backyard is empty there. Why don't you monetize it? So isn't this great? Yeah. It gets better. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to understand the third role on the platform. We call it a ranch operator, a new ranch operator. So the first two roles is basically the gig economy workers. You make extra income whenever you feel like it. If you don't like it, don't take it. You reject it. If you think the job is risky, charge them more. It's a free market. But these people, they are occasional workers. So then other people ask, they say, Ralph, look at your milk cow and tax station owners. Sort of like a socialism, you know? sharing economy. If that's the case, you want to be, be a decentralized platform, who is going to promote your business? So we introduce this rule called a ranch operator. What do they do? They basically just help us spread the word. You can come on the platform, register yourself, go through the application process, then you can start to build your own ranch. All you need to do is just to spread the word. So you can tell any of your family and friends, they say, when you travel, why don't you download the app? Make some money for yourself. You can also go to your parents' house. They say, what are you guys doing? Nothing at home. Why don't you download the app? Make some money for yourself. Buy some toy for your grandchildren. <coughs> Think about the whole world's population. The entire senior community. Think of all those handicapped people. They can never go out and get a job like you. We give them a way to generate income. We bring the dignity back into their life. So again, back to the third row, the meal ranch operator. If the meal pal and tax station owner download our app through your social media link, every dollar we make as our revenue, you get to keep 51%. Isn't that even better? <laughs> so what does this mean? We don't own the business, you do. We're turning the whole world, everybody's their own boss, from a milk pal, the traveler, to a pack station owner, a UPS store owner to the new ranch operator, the entrepreneur. 
who does the promotion. So <clears throat> now you can understand what I say. When you trust the Thomas or uh, Amasa, you engage them to become an internet influencer. How do you monetize it? You sign up as a new range operator. <laughs> you keep 51% of the revenue. Try to imagine if you're Kim Kardashian, how many followers does Kim Kardashian have? Millions. 10 million, 50 million, 100 More than that, 100 million. <laughs> Or 150, I cannot keep track. So ask yourself, how do you monetize from your follower, from your popularity? So in China, the latest trend is for the internet influencer to sell goods and services to their follower. They call it social commerce. So try to imagine if you start selling things to your follower, you sell it to them once, that's fine. You sell them to them twice, that's okay. When you sell them the third time, they get sick and tired of you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave, you know, I'm not gonna follow you anymore. But try to imagine, if the Kim Kardashian, all she has to do is do a tweet. He said, hey, why don't you download the meal delivery app? Make some money for yourself. Not only she's not asking you to take money out of your pocket to buy something from her, she is giving you a job opportunity. She helps you make money. So when she does that, within the next couple of months, with 100 million population, everybody who travels, everybody who stays at home, every time they do an assignment, Kim Kardashian get to keep 51% of their revenue. It's going to be millions every month just pouring in, making tons of money by helping others get a job. <laughs>